A friend writes to me, there is something foreign looming on the horizon, and we can only guess that it will shape us entirely one day. 2013 is really when it took off. The police department came up with more than 400 individuals who were most likely to be prone to violence, either as a victim or a perpetrator. And they were chosen through mathematical algorithms. A prediction is being made about something an individual has not yet done, but is going to do. And a preemptive arrest is made of someone before they performed an act. Mr. Robert McDaniel? Yes. Wollen wir in eine Gesellschaft geraten, die komplett überwacht ist, wo jeder sein Score bekommt, so wie es eben die Chinesen vorhaben? Wollen wir in so einer Gesellschaft leben? Und die Frage ist, warum tun wir das? Who is that good for? Is it good for the streets or is it good for the police? They haven't told us what the algorithm is that they're using to identify people. There's no way to get off the list once you're on it. It's the securitization of our society. It's not aiming to a certain future. The future is already in the present right now. Die Überwachung ist nur und alleine dafür da, in ihre Zukunft steuernd und regelnd einzugreifen. This is the new world, and right now, the policymakers haven't really thought through the consequences. They haven't figured out how do privacy laws adapt. And it's important, I think, to ask these questions now. What about when they got your son? When they got your daughter, your child, your... When it's you, it don't affect nobody until it come knocking on your door. I think we're at the very beginning of a very big conversation. 